So there's this idea, it's called the Dear Me Project, and I really wanted to get involved with writing a letter to my younger self. Now, I am a firm believer that every single rejection, every heartbreak, every struggle, every fight for joy and for victory has gotten me right here, right now. And without each of those individual moments and events in my life, I would be a very different person. So instead, if I were to write a letter to my younger self, I would encourage her to live, feel it all. Dare to allow yourself the freedom to embrace every up and down. Don't numb yourself. Live in crazy technicolor, but challenge yourself to dig deeper than simply feeling emotions and ask yourself why and when and how. And if it is for your own betterment, then dare to alter your triggers and take ownership of emotions which cause harm to others. Endeavor to live in a way which affirms and brings more love and joy into the world. Life is hard and people are mean. Take moments each day to assess your impact on the people around you. You have a choice. You always have a choice. And what you feel should never be an excuse to cause harm to others. Never let anyone make you feel silly about your ritual of always praying before traveling. In fact, never feel silly any time you want to pray. You can save yourself a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress by simply taking a quick moment to have a quick chat with the big dude upstairs. Don't be fooled. Absolutely everyone feels awkward. Some of us are better actors than others, but everyone is wondering where they fit, what they'll grow up to be, if they're making the right choices. You are not alone. In fact, every doubt, every awkward moment, every torment or confusion or wonder actually makes you more normal than you can even imagine. And it's going to be okay. Listen to your heart, but trust your gut. Instinctively, you already know what the right decision is. Chances are, your first instinct is the right one. If your gut says something feels off, trust it. If you sense that it's time to act or change something, go now, do it. The only times you will ever feel regret will be the times you didn't follow your gut. It's the perfect combination of body, mind and soul. Let it guide you. There will never be a perfect time. You cannot keep waiting. You cannot keep putting things off. Go now and do it. Value your heart. Recognize how easily it can be swayed and fooled and value it enough to guard it. Don't let your desire to be liked or loved outweigh your predestination for real and authentic relationships. You deserve them. Lust and popularity are not love. They are cheap counterfeits and they will never satisfy you. Like a parasite, they will empty you of joy and crush your spirit. Instead, choose to be discerning with who gets your heart and your time. Kindness is infinite and you have enough of that for all who enter your sphere of influence. But not all who enter should be a person of influence in your world. Say yes to new experiences and opportunities. But I dare you, I dare you to be brave enough to say no to those who threaten to crush you, to those who use you, abuse you, are cruel or heartless. Who cares if they don't like you? You don't need to drop to their level. You are smart enough and you are gentle enough to be able to remove people from your daily life without embodying the very reason you are removing them from yours. You don't have to be like the people around you. You choose who you want to be. Regardless of how you feel right this second, you are not as fat or ugly or stupid or boring as you think you are. In fact, you are still working out who you want to be. And that is awesome. You're going to meet some bright, interesting and crazy characters. Shut up and listen. Allow them to challenge your perceptions. Allow them to expand your view of the world. It is okay to not have all the answers. It's not weakness to say you're not sure. It's okay to be honest. In fact, by simply admitting it to yourself will give you the most glorious sensation of a weight being lifted from your shoulders. It's also okay to change your mind. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. It doesn't make you a failure or a joke. In fact, it would be a bigger tragedy to live a life unfaithful to yourself. You'll learn to find happiness in the journey. That sounds crazy, but you will stop looking at life with the goal of reaching a destination. Instead, you'll find a bunch of hilarious misfits to share the road with. 
learning to embrace the unknown, celebrating the milestones, battling the lows, fighting your demons, continuing to meet each new day with a deep breath and hope, but knowing that if you stay true to yourself, if you keep looking for beauty rather than flaw, you will be happier. You will find happiness beyond anything you could have hoped for during your darkest days. You are amazing. You are strong. You are beautiful and brave and powerful. You are so much bigger than this moment. Whether it be good or bad, this moment, right now, in a flash, before you know it, this too shall pass and make way for something new. Choose to step out into the world as a better person today than you were yesterday. You may not be able to change the past, but you can choose if you will allow it to trap you. You are in control of who you will wake up and be today. Own it. I'm really, really thankful that I get to be you. I'm so grateful for everything you're going through right now because it's getting me here. Who you are is so good. You may not always get it right, but keep getting back up. Say sorry when you're wrong. Take the lessons and do it better next time. It's taken me a really long time to be able to say this, but I love you. And one day you're gonna know what it feels like to honestly, truly feel that. And I can't wait till you get there. I'm so proud of you and keep making me proud.